going on guys? King Shreds here back with a video on the channel. And I love how both of them just went. <laughs> they both the up. They have been running their mouths this entire time, but when the camera turns on, <laughs> they'll both shut up. But you guys don't know. I mean, you probably should by now. He's made a couple appearances. This is my pops. You can go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, everybody? Dave Shreds in the building. Happy Easter, because I guess we're gonna see this. This will be Easter. Easter so we'll happy see, Easter yeah. when you see this. And Sam hasn't been on the YouTube channel for a while, but if you watch Twitch streams, all you guys have been asking about him, so he came through. We're going to have... Actually, you say something. Hi. <laughs> I'm just ready to eat. Man of many words. All right, ready so we, what I did was I ordered from a place called King's Barbecue. It is a place in North Carolina. Through a service called Gold Belly, you can get anything shipped to your house. So this is $219 worth of barbecue. There are ribs, as well as pulled pork, potato salad, Brunswick stew, which we've all never had and don't know what it is, black eyed peas, mac and cheese, collard greens, coleslaw. That's the lineup. We're going to try them all. We're going to rate and then probably talk for a while. So drop a thumbs up, man. You guys are ready to notify us, man. Let's get into this video. I guess we should start with the ribs, right? Let's go. Makes sense. How are we going to rip the ribs? I don't know. That's I have a glove. Rib. You rip the ribs. Yeah, yeah you rip them. Glove? What do you want to do? You want me to touch them all? <laughs> you want me to touch the ribs? You want me to touch your ribs? I thought you were going to hand them up. That's weird. Okay, so here we go. Just put a glove on. You take it, I take it, everybody takes it, no? Right. Pause. Jesus Christmas. Pause. That's pause. a huge pause. No video. Oh. Whoa. Right. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> now I got to talk about it? I've been trying to avoid that conversation. Nah, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go, we're going to talk about it later. I'm not going to go on the guy because I don't know the facts. I think people are I don't think anybody knows the facts. That's no, what no, people are jumping on the bed. Oh, right boy. Let's go. I know the facts. Grab a rib. I already grabbed one. Oh. Just take a piece off, grab it. I don't know how you want to do it. Yeah, just take it. It's fine. I don't care. All right. It's going to have to be. That's fine. All right. So these are baby back ribs. They got two whole slabs of them. And I don't know what to think. Right. Also, there is extra barbecue sauce somewhere, which I can't remember where I put it. It's a pretty loaded. Yeah, plenty of barbecue. Yeah. All right. It's fine. We'll try. Let's go. Right, here we go. Cheers, everybody. Salud. Happy Easter. wants to talk um i say sam hmm. you're gonna rate it first today. you're gonna rate it huh? yeah i'll rate it i have a question is this the barbecue sauce they sent or did you add some no no this is all this is all there i didn't touch anything because i personally i like the barbecue sauce i'm surprised i know it's i good. thought north carolina barbecue was like i guess maybe that's the pulled pork but it's sweet yeah i was thinking vinegar based yeah, but yeah tangier very tangy it's pretty good the chew on the ribs for me is like competition ribs, like they don't fall off the bone. Some people like ribs yeah. that fall off the bone. I personally like them with a little more bite. I was about to say that. That's the only thing that I noticed that they're not falling off the bone. Like you me. like fall off the bone ribs, absolutely. I prefer the when people because this is like a contention with ribs. A lot of people like ribs that fall off the bone. Like you pick it up, rib comes right out, right? Yeah. Some people like ribs that they have a bite to them. And when you're doing competition ribs, if they fall off the bone, it's actually considered overcooked. But I think that that's a competition. Like eating is eating. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I would say it didn't interrupt the flavors. Pretty, pretty good. I like the tangy barbecue sauce. I like the ribs. I think they're cooked well. I would say, sorry, mm. based on what you're saying, they're tender enough that I feel like they should fall off the bone, but it doesn't. Yeah. That's that chewy factor. Yeah. You like, know when usually when you got to chew it. it that's what they're little, looking for. Like yeah. that competition level. You want a bite, but you want to. All right, I'll show you. When you bite a rib in a competition, what they tell you is this. When I bite it, it should still have the rest of the rib laying on right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what they're looking for. But again, this is, they I'm just splitting hairs at this point. Okay. They, they nailed that. I, I have no complaints about that rib. So out of 10? Out of 10. I guess 7.5. Okay. That's, that's, I'm going to say, unfortunately, I really like that. You did the Hawaii barbecue on your, your, your bar uh, stream. You, you know where I'm going. No. Now, I, only, I was here with the Hawaiian barbecue, which I really was amazing. It was a wow factor, I guess, right? That, but um, this is pretty good. I'm not going to I'm not gonna say it's bad, but the bar is pretty high. Put on, I'm going to give this a seven and a half. You did all that to give the same exact reason. I just want yeah. to know that. Yeah. You did all that theatrics. Yeah, yeah seven and a half. That's good. I, I didn't hear his. I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to be completely honest. You guys rated this perfectly. It's a seven and a half. Seven they are good, half. solid ribs. To me, seven is the good level. They're not great, but they're solid. Yeah. They're solid ribs. Here's my point being. If I didn't have the white, maybe I'd give that an eight. Okay, let's go. Yeah. 
<laughs> all that for all that for nothing. But that's <laughs> fine. This is what we do. Perfect. Perfect. To the next one. Perfect. You ever have a hush puppy? I have. You? No. A hush puppy is like a fried ball of cornmeal. Yeah. Oh, um, there's a lot of different origins of people say where it came from, but the main one that I've heard, I mean, I guess I could say this, is supposedly they use these fried balls of corn to keep dogs quiet when people were running away from places. Hush puppy. Yeah. Okay. Allegedly. You know what? I've never yes. heard that before. You don't need to do too much of these. Fried ball of cornmeal. Thank you. You guys can't see off camera, but my dog is staring at me right now, so I guess that it really does mean it's a hush puppy. No, nah, I'm going to say I've had hush puppies many times. Yes. My dad was a big hush puppy guy. Really? But we've only had them with fish. I've never had That's with usually anything else but fish. You know, hush puppies are usually like Long John Silver's makes hush puppies. Yeah. Anyway. Cheers. It's exactly what it tastes like. Fried ball of cornmeal. I have no issue with it. A little dry. Hush yeah, puppies are pretty dry. dry. This is every bit of a hush puppy. It's that basically, but that's this is what a hush puppy is, though. It's like, yes. not, like it's a corn muffin. It's hard, but fried. Pellet. It's every bit of what I remember a hush yep. puppy being like. It gets better as you chew it. Yeah, right? I feel like it's nice. Like it almost reminds me of getting barbecue with cornbread, so mm -hmm. I can see. Yeah, it exactly. Eat. You know what I'm saying? It goes. sweetness. No, it's sweet from the no, I'm not. I'm not hating on that at all. I'm kind of liking that. They grew on you, right? Coffee, yeah. yeah, they grew on you, right? I do like these. I mean, yeah. you can pass it. You don't oh. do that, man. You don't have to keep, like, we gotta keep eating them after, but. Oh. Oh, no, go ahead. Try everything first. And then... Yeah, what you got? All right. Oh, my turn? Yeah. And a hush puppy scale, I'm giving that an eight and a half. Okay, fair. I guess we'll go this way. I give him an eight. Eight. Fair. We're all in the same range. I'm waiting for one that because there's gonna be one that everybody's it's gonna be an outlier. I can moment. tell you right now, I'm not skipping. We can do it next. Mm. Let's go with the collard greens because there's two ways of collard greens. Unless you want to go around. Okay. No, no, no. You're curious about the collard greens. You've been saying this the yeah, entire yeah. time. I am. There's two ways of collard greens. They're either good or they're bad. Yeah. All right. So collard greens, Carolina style, apparently, which I'm expecting to be really vinegary. I've said this on this channel many times. I like vinegary greens, but it has to be like a balanced vinegary. The acid can't be too much because then I'll like make a weird face. Go, young. All right, right collagens. I love collagens, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. I won't say anything. Else. They're definitely not bad. Mm -mm. Okay, we're on the same page with that. Mm -hmm. They are vinegary. Mm -hmm. The vinegar, not too much. the first thing I get is vinegar. But not too much. Not overpowering. What kind of stock do you think they cook this with? Because I'm not tasting like, a lot of people use pork. Do you taste pork? Nah, I'm thinking, I'm not thinking that's chicken stock. Me too. That's what I was thinking, because normally it's pork. Yeah. But I'm tasting chicken. I'm going to say, I'm I'm, I'm, in, I'm impressed because I'm real harsh on, on collard greens. You are extremely harsh on collard greens. That I know. I give you a little backstory. Growing up, my mom made collard greens that were so vinegary. I wouldn't eat collard greens as a kid. Her and my mother was a fantastic very, cook. They were very vinegary. Yeah, but she was an incredible cook. Fair. But her greens just, I, I wouldn't eat them. Fair. Your sister made me greens, and now I'm a green guy. Well, my sister is an amazing cook. Yeah. For real. Yeah. yeah. That's good, though. That's I think they're right. wilted too much for me, though. That's my, if I'm, like, splitting hairs, I like when there's a little more bite to them. Because they seem to be chopped really fine. No matter, like, almost like spinach. Am I crazy? Mm-hmm. That's my only complaint. I just like when there's more bite in them, but the flavor is there. So in that case, I'm still, I gotta go first this time. I'll give them the. Damn. Sound like Mel Kuyper. We don't plan this stuff. No. You're gonna think. Again. I'm not even gonna give you any 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 other. That's an eight. Solid eight. Very good. Very good for green. I'm gonna level with you. Those are awesome. You did devour those. those I, I was not expecting that. They're good. I, I wasn't I'm not either. a connoisseur of collard greens. Fair. But I'm gonna wait too on that. Fair. That was good. That was good. You know what kind of reminded me of? Like a, almost like a cabbage, the way this is done, right? Yeah. Cabbage it's, and collard greens are yeah, very similar. similar. Very similar. And, and, and here's the thing. It, it, it's got that little bit of vinegary taste. I love that vinegar part. And a hint of little, almost sweet. It was good. Yes. The reason why I right? like the yes. vinegar. Yeah. The reason why I like the vinegar so much is like when you're eating this and you have a whole plate, it's going to pair well with other stuff. Like it's going to work well to cut through the fat oh, on yeah. the pork. You know what I'm saying? That's when it's going to make it even better. Yeah, no, that was good. Those were good. I'm impressed. I wasn't so expecting far. that. Me either. That was good. I think I just. Hold on. Let's go with the pulled pork. 
Okay. I, I gotta get the. Right. I gotta, <clears throat> pulled pork is what Carolina is known for. Where's the barbecue sauce? What did I do with it? So Carolina pulled pork, it's pork shoulder. Um, and you just use the pork shoulder, you, you tenderize it real good, and you add some spices. Now, there should be a good amount of fat in this as well, but you got to add the barbecue sauce, which if this is like Carolina barbecue for real, it's got to have, okay, I took way too much, but that's fine, the vinegar base to it as well. So I'm going to do a little bit, let me see, for barbecue, man. Yep. Says vinegar is the first ingredient. So I'm gonna go. Yeah, see, this is Carolina barbecue sauce that I was yeah. thinking of. See how thin that is? It almost looks like hot sauce. Yep. Hmm. Why'd you take this one? I don't know. What about the <laughs> You should have seen him when we did the barbecue, the other one. <laughs> we almost ate the whole uh, thing of Oh, it. yeah. It was good. The next, the day, right? the next yeah. day was even better. Better the next day, right? I gave him almost all of it, like pretty much all of it, too. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay. I love vinegar-based barbecue on Carolina pulled pork. It's like a thing of mine. Yeah? It is. But some people don't. Because it's not like... If you're not used to it, it's very vinegary. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to overdo it on this because then it'll just taste like pure vinegar. So, sometimes they slather it on. Go. No? Okay. Oh, wait. I'll go. So, I was one of those guys that put too much on there. But I like vinegar. There. Always did. So even though it shocked me, the first, the, greens, dude. Wow. the first bite shocked me. Mm. But the second bite, I, I think it's pretty good. You mixed out with the greens? Now I'm about to put that on some bread. No, no, no. That's going to knock your socks off with the greens. That, that, that's pretty good. I, I like it. I, I, I'll give that a seven and a half. Okay. For me personally, I'm more of a traditional barbecue. Could you that? The pulled pork is awesome. But hey, this is good too. I just don't like Vinegar. Get you. Fair. Right? Fair. Like, this is awesome, but not with that. Mm -hmm. So I would give, I don't know, I would, I would give it a 7 2. Okay, 7. Eight and a half. Yeah. When you mix it with the, the cold, like the everything, like when I mix it with the greens, can we give it a real test? We want to make a sandwich? Yeah. No. <laughs> you know what? I'll make a little half a sandwich. That's, That's what I was about to do. A lot of spread's good. I'm gonna make like a pocket. Hold on, we're gonna give we're gonna give this a, we're gonna give this a fair we're gonna give this a fair. Here's test. the thing though, you kind of gotta put coleslaw on a pork sandwich. It's supposed to go. That's like a thing. So that's the thing. Fair. You know what I like on my pulled pork sandwiches too? The melted cheese. Yeah, that's like that's like if you're going to like other barbecue places, this barbecue this coleslaw is weird. But I'm gonna try. Like, it. I love pastrami. Oh, I. That's one of my favorite things. <clears throat> you go to that place, that local Pastrami place? Bot, Pastrami Bistro. That's the first the time video I there. ever put cheese on what, it. It's it amazing. Okay. I did pastrami grill. I did that place is good. <clears throat> the brisket and the pastrami is good. Uh, uh, fantastic. Mm. Uh, all right, now we're about now we're about to see. We're gonna we're gonna give this a good we're gonna give this a good rating here. Hold on. Give it a good test, not rating, test. Oh yeah. The whole slow is sweet. Oh yeah, man. And it works well. Not good. Mm. That works for me. Mm -hmm. Agree. Plus, this bread is fantastic. Yeah, good bakeries around here. You, know? you can't mess with us with that stuff. No, mm -hmm. Venice Bakery no. in Garfield, New Jersey. If anybody wants some good bread, oh. they do great semolina bread. That's oh my goodness. Oh. You're not supposed to use semolina bread with pulled pork, but we're from Jersey. That's what we do. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. So it's a seven and a half. On the sandwich. On the sandwich? Goes up. Absolutely. I'm going with like an 8.8. .8. I'll give it a 9. Okay. I won't give it a 9 because I'm just one of those guys. No, this is, I would eat this. I make, I make 16 oh. sandwiches. I eat all day. This is good. 100%. Okay. I vote mac and cheese. Oh, mac and cheese looks good. Looks good? Yeah, if anybody oh. knows, if you know on the channel, I am a harsh, harsh mac and cheese critic. 
This looks like it passes the eyeball test right away. So <laughs> he just he said he's been staring at this mac and cheese. The yeah, whole time. I'm like, man, I want to know what that what that's about. All right, I'm trying to. I kind of think Dave's a harsh mac and cheese critic because we grew up in the same house and we ate the same mac and cheese. I hope it's good. And we know kind of what we like. And worse than that, we kind of know what we don't like. I don't want to say it on yet. Hold on. That is good. I'm liking it. Need a little more cheddar, but I'm liking it. Really? Sharp. Wow. It's super it's cheesy. Lot, I see a lot of no. cheddar. No. Yeah. Sharp cheddar. It's good. Is there bacon in there? It tastes like it. Right? Like there's some sort some of pork. Some kind of pork in there. Let me tell you something. That's good. Pulled pork mac and cheese sandwich with this. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, there's definitely like, That's good. like something like bacon in it. Mm -hmm. I can't tell what it is. I like that. Yeah. It's not overwhelming. Did you did you no. fly the, did you fly the stuff here with the same service? Gold Belly, yeah. Gold Belly. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, man, did they get this food here? It tastes like it was made here overnight. I was gonna say that. How even the mac and cheese? You know, I think dairy and might whatever. Mm -mm. It's like you cooked it here. They ship it in a box and dry. Yeah, there's definitely some other flavor, like a bacon. Or yeah, something. some kind of bacon in there. Yeah, it's good. I love the cheese. No, eight, there's eight, de there's eight, definitely eight, eight three. You like Dave Portnoy? Yo, I love it. Eight, eight. I love it. And hey, Frankie, we're giving it an eight three. Frankie, look at this person walking by here. <laughs> You give it. A, you, that's the Portnoy, bro. Portnoy loves something, and he gives you know like what? six. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mac. Wait, eight three. Sorry, eight three is good. That's very, good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, that's very good. I'm a mac and cheese snob. So am I. I'm giving that an eight. Why? I, I just, I'm just rating it where I'm used to. Um, your sister puts in like like. Five different cheeses, and I'm getting like two cheeses. Oh, it's nowhere near it hurts. No, no, no. If I had oh, I'm waiting in that store. Yeah, you know, if you're going to scale, or that's I rate things to scale. Oh, well, hers is a ten. It's the best mac and cheese. Okay, I've ever so eaten. we're gonna go like I bought this out. Compare this to if you went out to eat at a restaurant. You order. I will tell you this: there's only one other place that I will compare this to as far as the buying that Buffalo's, which I love there. Ooh, that's a ten. That's, I love their that's, mac that's and that's cheese. A nine, I get that. So if, if we're gonna go on the store, Buffalo's Woodridge. Oh my oh, god, my goodness! Oh, but if, if you're in Buffalo's, we gotta go. Very nice people. Unbelievable. But if we're gonna go that route, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna. I'll give this a nine. That's for, for something we bought. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely give it a nine. Absolutely. Comparative compared to like absolutely 100. Yeah. percent If I went to a restaurant and I got this, I would think it's very. If great. I had one beef, I like my mac and cheese a little creamier. See, I like mine more congealed. Stuffed. Yeah. yeah. That's now I'm gonna tell you that mac and cheese is different in different houses. 100. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna. I, I don't like my mac and cheese creamy. Mm -mm. That's the way we go. We make a casserole. Never mind. It's never great. It's baked. I don't right. like it wet. I just like it a little looser. That's no, that's okay. It's, I'm just like... I, I'm not knocking your taste. No, taste no. I'm just taste. saying like... What he is strongly implying is that black people make mac and cheese differently. With that's you. all. It's just different. I like both. I've eaten, but that's what he's saying. But I, I do too. I do. So it's a little bit more congested. There's only one mac and cheese I don't like. If you go to someone's house and they made the mac and cheese with Velveeta... I know a certain... Leave, leave, me, leave me home. I don't yeah, like but, it. I don't say that. Well, yeah, but there's a difference. I know what you're saying. I've had that, but. Almost to the point when it seems old. Well, when I say you get what I'm saying, like yes. I don't want it to be like uh, I don't want to crunch on the mac and cheese. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Which I, which I was saying is that's that's like a certain family member that I won't bring up that makes a certain <laughs> mac and cheese. That I, I, say, I say this is the right Her, texture for that me. mac and cheese. That certain family member makes sucks. Yeah, we're not gonna go there. But this is <laughs> this is the right texture. I know the family member very well. This is the right Did texture. You name? I'm not gonna go into. This is the right texture for me. But every once in a while, I go to someone's house because mac and cheese is it, and they made it with. You can add some Velveeta to give it a little cream. Velveeta sucks in mac and cheese, but you cheese, cannot though. make a mac and cheese out of Velveeta. Leave me out. Strongly of it. agree. Leave me out. Of it. Strongly That's, agree. Cancel that. Fair. Black eyed peas with no will I am. Where did? Oh, it's in the down the port. All right, too. I bought. I understand. I live by myself. I don't use a lot of utensils. Black eyed peas. No will I am. Black eyed peas look weird to me. I'm gonna be honest right off the bat because the black eyed peas I'm used to eating have like, like something in them. These just are beans. Mm, that look like black eyed peas to me. Th that's not how black eyed peas. But look I like can me. tell you this: in my in my entire life of eating black eyed peas, I've never eaten them without rice. Ever. Not that it's bad. I'm just saying that's the way the way it's prepared usually. All right. Doesn't matter. We're gonna taste the peas, not the rice. So let's go get it. Uh oh. Red flag. Uh oh. Red flag. 
Let me start. I already did. I made a face at the camera. Y'all didn't see it. Um, what you're thinking is exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah. I grew up eating black eyed peas. My mother was tremendous. She said something about on New Year's, you need to have a pot of black eyed peas on the school for good luck. That ain't it, dude. Yeah. I would not, I'm not even going to finish that. That ain't it. That tastes like hot water. I'm yeah. on a level with you. Yeah. I'm on right. a level with you. I'm actually shocked the same place made those. <laughs> like, that ain't it. I no, didn't grow up eating black eyed peas, and I know that that's all. That ain't it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going mean, to say this as respectfully as possible. I hope that I did something wrong. Because. That ain't it. Yeah. Like, I'm, they just taste like you, like, cook them. Like, it's, there's no anything. No there's food. no flavor whatsoever. None. It's hot. It tastes like hot water. Yes, just literally. It tastes, it tastes like, like hot water with bumps. Almost like you, lentils. Even oh. worse. Freaking disrespectful lentils. I don't know. Some lentils could be dish water. There you go. You know what? I feel like lentils are like the Italian version of fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of like, you do lentils dish. right? Forget it. But yeah, now, they maybe got heated up wrong or something. No, no. Because I, compared I, to the rest of the food, which was on point, they don't taste like anything. No. I was waiting, and I'm like, I didn't mm -hmm. care. No, and if that's, I'm sorry that that's your first experience with yeah, black eyed peas. That, that ain't it. You won't even be like, nah, I'm okay. Yeah, that ain't it. That's a bad indicator. I'll go first. That's a one. I have nothing good to say about them. I'm sorry. Um, I'm every, just, everything else, um, wherever the food came from. No, I'm, just, I, I'm, I'm not. Look, no, one. we got we got to rate it. I'm gonna give that a zero. Damn, I don't even have zero. I would not eat that again. I would throw that out. I would probably put something in them, but if I had some hot sauce, maybe I could bring it to life. That's what I'm saying. Maybe you're supposed to. Maybe maybe do this. I'm trying to. You know me. I'm trying to work with you. I don't want to vinegar my like black eyed peas, dude. I'm good. Nope, still soft. <laughs> I'm good. What do you think? Wow. Yeah, I can't rate that. Yeah, that's, that's honestly. Okay, we'll give it a half. I can't give you a zero. That's not. I don't that's have true. zeros on my scale. Okay, we'll give it a half. That's why it's a one for me. But it's a one. It's I don't know. Not as bad. Guess. Can't even say anything good about it. I feel that. But on a positive note, everything else was good. Everything. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I don't like to be that guy, you no, know. I'm not. I'm the same way. But I don't like I just, to be I that have guy. To be honest, this is. Like, and my mind was completely open. I like black IPs. Oh, you're thinking about this. Dang. These sides. I paid sixty dollars for the sides. Oh, that, I'm going back to the zero. That ain't that ain't worth no money. Like the sides came separate from the ribs. It cost sixty bucks, and that, so that's I a ten dollar side. I I just feel that there's no like you usually cook it in some kind of stock. I think and then they, they usually put the <laughs> Toretto. <laughs> And then you put some kind of like like some kind of like smoked turkey in it or something. Those are terrible. I didn't even want to okay, move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, yeah. this one I have no idea. This is Brunswick stew. Oh boy, I think it's baked beans. It's chicken, beans, and a red sauce, or and it's supposedly really popular in North Carolina. Like I've never had it. I don't know anything about it. All I know is I've been told a bunch of times you have to try Brunswick stew. That's what I get told. So okay. if it tastes anything like these beans, which just completely soured my mood, I don't know where I'm going with this, but Brunswick stew it is. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna take a guess and say actually that's gonna. It kind of tastes look. It's like pulled chicken or something. Yeah, though. it's like a stew. I'm it's gonna not say that's gonna be pretty good. I see if like I'm it, right. It's, it's got it, peas in it, and we got, should review it before and then review it after. <laughs> what do you mean? Like say what? Give oh, you're trying to guesstimate? Uh, prediction. Yeah. I said those black eyed peas looked off from the minute I had them. Yeah, the you first did say thing it, I said. Yeah. I'm gonna say. I'm going to say good. Looks good. Um, Brunswick, huh? Shout out to the family in Brunswick. If you yeah, Brunswick, New Brunswick. Georgia. Brunswick, Georgia. No, I'm just shouting them out anyway because they watch. Shout them out. Is it really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Aha. Different? Not bad. No. Not bad. Not bad. No. Not great. No, no? But not not for me. It's not bad. I don't know why, because it's sitting in this stuff like this. It's it's like giving off like tuna in a can, like the look of it. Yeah. And I eat. I know what you mean. With my eyes, so it turned me off a little bit. Yeah. But well, taste wise, it's vinegary the same way. Yes. It's got sweetness because there's corn in it, mm -hmm. and it tastes like pulled pork, like the texture. Like the, the chicken, yeah, the texture. It's pork. Oh, that's not bad. The, the, the bad. I'm, I think the flavor is not great. I, think, okay. I think the flavor is pretty good. I think something about the texture is giving me a little baby That's food. That's the downfall. Right? The texture is the downfall. Yeah. But the flavor I like. Uh, it's vinegary. That's, That's, That's the crazy part. That's where vinegar goes. But it's pulled pork and vinegar. Same thing. Is it chicken or vinegar? It tastes like chicken or vinegar. <laughs> chicken or pork. Is it chicken or chicken? Chicken and vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that needs to be with something. <laughs> All right. That's it. We're done. Good. That look. I think as a side dish, I think as a side dish, it needs to be with something. 
These guys are nuts, man. You used to do this to me in class, man. Like, we, the teacher would be saying something, and he'd be, like, behind the teacher going, mm, and I'd be, like, laughing and shit. He's just be all the time, bro. He's just driving me crazy. And the teacher would always get mad at me. And I'm like, you don't see him? They never like saw the him. They never saw him. Yeah. Piss me off. Oh, man, that's good. Every, every time in class, we have bad stuff like just happened. This is okay. It's not good. <laughs> I never said it was bad. I said it's okay. That's actually, I would actually eat that. Like, we got a pick. I would eat it. Yes. Yeah, I would, I would, I would I'm eat that. I'm not saying it's a nine. I would say it's a seven three. I'd give it a solid seven. Seven, okay. No, no, no. I'll be honest. Six point eight. It's gotta go a little under. It's, it can't be in the good. It's it's good, but it's not. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, from all this stuff, you going to that first? No, of Absolutely. course not. There you go. That's Which all. is why you, you know what I think is missing. I think I think I could bring that to life with some hot sauce. But as is the way we tasted it, you miss my own I'm giving that a seven. Seven. It's fair. The lime of you. Yeah, I'm giving that a seven. I think it. Could, I think it, I, that's too wet. I think it could it's, it's, work it, better. It with just something. the texture's like tuna. Like a tuna They sandwich. shredded it too, I'm with you too much. I don't know. It's like... It's, it's like, like sometimes people, they just over... You I almost want to like use a tortilla. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, like a, a dip. I don't know. Like yeah, like I feel dip, like but it's a stew. It's, you're supposed to just eat it. It's a stew cocktail. Yeah. So you no, want to just... Oh. No. <laughs> no. I don't I, I, Maybe like some bread in there, no? Use your bread. I do that. Yeah, I think I think you could bring it to life maybe on some rice or some hot sauce. But I think it could use more seasoning. right? It's good. I feel like there's better versions of that. Yeah, definitely yeah. That. You know what I mean? Definitely yeah. that. Like, it's almost like the black eyed peas is not a good indicator. No. Yeah. That's my first time trying Brunswick's doing It's like, the way you're talking about it, it's like crazy. It's I but like, that I I like would... peas, I probably would take the peas out. I would keep the peas. Don't go. It's like chicken yeah. cacciatore. It doesn't yeah, make exactly. sense. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. The only thing that bothers me about it, I think it just needs a little more seasoning. All right, so That's not good. I give it a seven. Sounds good. That's fine. We'll agree with it. One more dish. I gotta tell you. Potato salad is another one of my, another one of my things. Zach, I'm letting you go first. I'd like if you tell me you probably, you're probably not gonna better eat this. I can tell you right now there's green stuff in it. Yeah, I don't think I'm touching it. Guys, you don't want me eating pickles. No. I'm just telling you. No, I have to yeah, abstain from this like one. A relish. That's why it's good. Yeah, it's what a lot of potato salad has like a relish in it. No, they, 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 it's gonna have a relish in it. Yeah, I'm so I'm, listen, I'm very picky with potato salad. I'm worse. I am too. I don't they, really like any kind of salad. They, I'll let you know. Go ahead. No, you guys are good. Yeah, it looks decent. I hope it's good. No. <laughs> Yeah? I think so. You guys are on your own. I got nothing. Vinegary. It's vinegary? Yeah. They love their vinegar. It goes in everything down there. No, I would eat that. It's good. Yeah? You would not eat that. No, I could tell. I could see. I could smell it. You wouldn't eat that. If it's not in it, the dough's in it. You wouldn't eat that. Yeah, you wouldn't eat that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that. That I would eat next to my pulled pork sandwich, and I'm good. I'm going to give that an 8 9 that's one of your highest ratings. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. That's crazy. It's good potato salad. I like it. Close to home. This guy just did a whole reverse in his head. Hey, yeah. He's, he's got bars. Seven, seven, five. Seven, okay. Five. Yeah. I, 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 want, important. I want to say that everybody out there, you're all glad that he didn't eat that. Yeah, it would not. If you I don't know the pickle story, there's pickles in there. I had to eat one when I had 100 cases. It, it wouldn't. It wouldn't end the way. I, I, I you know, like I watch. Up. I watch this show every, every day. It's a. It's a ritual because she likes it. I watch it, and I like it too. I do. It's part of my day. I had to turn that one off because you. You, you kind of. You have no idea. No, that I have bad. I knew that was coming. The the crazy part is, when people think that I'm like being extra, that I'm like, but you know because you've been around. You guys have both been around. Like I. Hate pickles like the. I've gotten better that I can at least be around them, but as a kid, I couldn't even smell them. I gotta say, your taste buds have opened up Absolutely. tremendously. Oh yeah, yeah. As I a kid, you wouldn't eat onion. No, no, I wouldn't eat any of this. No, any anything. I was back. When we made potato special. salad, she would make yours make separate pickles. Yeah. Yep. You know what I don't like about salads like this in general? I don't like the crunch. There's what there's celery in there? I don't like celery. I don't like. There's onion. celery in there? No, Something. Is it celery or right. onion? No, but they cut it up real small. I have uh, somebody I know that they they make stuffing and they put celery in it. Usually store usually store bought potato hate, salad. Hate <laughs> they're not going to put a lot of peppers and onions in because you can't keep it as long. You got two days with that potato salad in the store and you got to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So usually in the store they go real easy on that. Onions go bad quick. Yes, or, and it overpowers it. It becomes disgusting. Mm -hmm. So they, they 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 go light on it, and you don't have a lot of, or they cut it really fine. As far as store bought potato salad, Southern style. Soul food style. I'm a rock with that. I get that solid, man. It's good. 
If I had that next to a burger, man, we 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 be cooking. That, that's all you eat. Too. Yeah, I love burgers. Yeah, yeah. Coleslaw? Coleslaw. Is it good? I like it. It's sweet, but I think it goes better with pulled pork or something. Now I'm being a Where's that I'm being a sport here. Sport. Yeah. Because I'm it's not a fan sport. of coleslaw. Really? So, you know, no, the funny part but is this here. looks decent. So the the funny part is I never ate coleslaw until about two years ago. Yeah. Since I've been making videos, I have started eating stuff I would never have eaten. Correct. Guacamole, avocados, coleslaw, uh, anything. Like I would not touch it, bro. Like I was horrible with that kind of stuff. This is really wet coleslaw. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think it's very like thin. Wow. Where it's sweet, right? Good. Yeah. That's the key. If coleslaw is sweet, it's gotta be sweet. 100%. Good it for pairs them. well with like the saltiness of yeah. the pork. Yeah. Good I, for them. I think the it. best store bought coleslaw that I've ever had Kentucky Fried Chicken. I hate KFC. I love their coleslaw. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, I don't really like KFC as much as I used to. I'm very particular with my KFC now. This tastes like KFC coleslaw. Yeah, but it tastes like real. No. Yeah. Like KFC, like maybe you could tell the quality of his cabbage. Is exactly sure. compared to like like Kentucky. Yeah, you know, I just I was talking about this yesterday. I'm really annoyed with how fast food has become. Like it's become like like you remember in the '90s and uh, even the back then, you know, like people like the '80s maybe or like, I don't know, like mm -hmm. the '70s or stuff. But like, do you remember how the restaurants back then had character? Like McDonald's had like the red and yellow. It was kind of tacky. Ronald McDonald was all over the place, and it had like. You know, like the like Taco Bell had that weird yeah, yeah. kind of vibe. Burger King had the, the You were playground. able to decipher. Yes. Wendy's had the yellow and, and the and, and, and the let's fixings not, bar. Let's not forget the food was a little better. Yes. Yeah, I was but, just having this conversation yesterday. Oh well, yeah. It's uh, worse uh, tasting and more expensive. I it's, used to really, 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 really love Wendy's. The chili was oh, phenomenal. I still love Wendy's. I like Wendy's. The food is not bad. They're still to as a fast food burger, they're way up on my scale. I had a there. great pretzel bacon eater last time. That's not bad. I yeah. ate my burger. <laughs> we did a stream yesterday. We went to Wendy's, and I ordered a pretzel bacon eater. The only thing and is he ordered a Dave's double, and he sat down and he ate half my burger before he realized he was eating. He's like, "Wow, it's yeah." Tough. But he's like, in my know. defense, he he I'm like, I'm like, up the food. I'm so like, I thought it was. I'm like, "Yo, you're eating my burger." He's like, "I don't think I had bacon in this." Because it's chowing down. You might break in two seconds, bro. But the Wendy's chili became like soup. It's not what it used to be yeah. when I was a kid. They no. cut down on everything. Well, they, and added the water. That's the crazy the, thing for me... That's the bottom. That's only the bottom part. But when you look at the look of how they look compared to used to, how the color, they're all like brown and drab and like corporate looking. They all look like Starbucks now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, remember, they're not eat, fun anymore. Remember 90s McDonald's pizza? McDonald's used to be fun. Yeah. Regular. Yes. 90s Pizza Hut, the red roof, the tacky furniture. Mm -hmm. You know, you could sit down. You can't even sit down at a pizza hut no more. Nope. You remember like Burger King used to have parties in Burger King? Yeah, because I have one. Yeah. Remember you guys beat up the Ninja Turtle? I feel like Dude, were you there? I don't remember. No, this dude, like my first move here. Yeah, we had a we had a party at, at a Burger King. I don't even know why. And he was, he was he was and and we did the t teenage Ninja Turtle guy. I don't know which Michelangelo. Michelangelo. So this guy comes in and the kids instantly attacked him. That's not how it happened. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. How did it happen? We had the party mm -hmm. and we were playing games with the turtle. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I can, I'm not going to use names, but I remember who each person who did this was. But he said, let's play a game called Chase Michelangelo. So we chased him. And then it, someone tackled him. But what happened was we pinned him up against the door. And somebody, who I can't say, opened the door. So he fell on his back. And I know exactly. Happened. I bet you I can tell you. His feet went up in the air. He, I had a plan. He left. He walked out of the party. He was a dude with glasses. His, his mask fell off. Yeah. He walked out of the party. And he was like, that's not funny, okay? And he left. Oh, no. yeah, he I was he legitimately kid. left the party. I was six. He left the party. He walked, out. he walked out of the party. True story. Poor guy. I Remember. looked over and all I saw these big feet up in the air. I go, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> it's not funny, okay? Nah, it was funny, but well, you know, you're trying to be like, ah, man, it's not funny, but inside. Am I supposed to talk about Puffy? Elephant in the room. Hold on, I'm going to take this glove off now because yeah, you can. if the glove... Doesn't fit, so you must have quit. Michael Jackson, next. Michael Jackson. No, so that, that's that. Let's address the puffy situation. What are your takes on this whole thing? My, my thoughts are I, I, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt because there's just been a lot of instances in the past where people have said a lot of allegations, a lot of things. I remember not wasn't but a couple of years ago that Johnny Depp had his entire career railroaded for doing certain things, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it turned out that that's not what happened. Right. So it's disgusting. I don't know the extent of it. That's why I'm kind of just letting, because I've heard 77,000 different stories. But there's been a lot of weird stuff over the years. That's okay. Fair enough. My, my, my take is this. 
in this day and age of social media memes, you don't know what to believe. The news is the clickbait. I saw something to the Instagram where this guy did a whole big thing about, I know about Meek Mills, I'm from Philly, and I've seen it. And then, and then two seconds later, he goes, I'm just joking. I'm dropping a new album, guys, and you know, I, I needed you to pay attention. I, I, I won't. We I, I will say that the allegations. I think we like the Mac because it's pretty much gone. Yeah. So it, I think that the allegations against him okay. are pretty <clears throat> horrendous. But until they become more than allegations, I'm not going to contribute to things I don't know about. And I don't think everybody should just jump on a bandwagon. I will say this. I've said this. I will say this, that when the feds come after you, they usually build a case. So they think they think they know something. They think. But, I'm not, but the thing is, they didn't arrest him. Right. And, and I just saw he's out in Miami right now hanging out with some some guy. And, 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 and then the, uh, the one that just challenged my man to a fight is behind him. DDJ, mm. he's behind him. He, he towers 50 Cent to a fight. He said, want to shoot the fade with him and stuff. What do you mean he's behind him? He's standing with him. He's in the Miami with him. He's hanging with him, with Puffy. And there's allegations between them two, but I don't like to join what I don't know about. So I'm going to say that I, everybody, like, they're killing him on social media. Don't even go on X or Twitter or whatever it's called these days. Okay, but there's been some pretty weird stuff over Well, there. he's always been a little different. Okay. He made these guys walk to get cheese stick. I'm not Cheesecake. talking about that. I'm talking about. I gotta know what you're talking about. How about the drink champs? He did it all. Oh yeah. What did he do on drink champs? He did all of it. No, he's. Yeah, he was, he did, forget it. When are you gonna party with me? <laughs> That's not. But what did he say? He got you scrapping and scraping. Daddy. He said, "I like when you <laughs> scrambling and scraping, yeah, yeah. daddy." Yeah, I don't like guys calling me daddy. Let's tell my kid. Then he, he had, had me my daddy. I'm dad. But then he had uh, Meek Mill in, in the pool. Again, and Meek Mill looked worn out. I'm not saying worn out from that. I'm not going there. I'm just saying he looked <laughs> tired. Worn out. But again. Well, these are weird things. Yes, that's all I'm saying. There's these some are, weird these, stuff. These are very weird things. They're not crimes. If you want to, like, if someone wants to, Agreed. that's their thing. That's their thing. Agreed. Now, these allegations are hard. Agree. That's where I draw one. And and he's got these parties, et cetera. He's got cameras everywhere. Again, I don't know. I'm not going to contribute to the downfall of that guy and become a part of what I don't know about. I say the allegations are horrible. If they're true, then I hope they throw the book at him. Yes, that's what I said. And if they're true, throw the book at him. I mean, no leniency. I don't care how much money <clears> you have. And until then, I, I think you can't just believe every meme you see yeah. or everything. Because even the news, they, the new, you think the news doesn't know what gets people to watch? Yeah, absolutely. They, they, they do just what people do on this? No, the, it, the news is just as bad as that. Yeah, they manip- will, the news manipulates us to a point. Not just that. Sometimes they print things, or in this case, they Correct. put things live that they can't even Now, I'm going to go as far as to say I've never been a big fan of the guy with like the shiny suits. The whole, it's not my thing. I just think the unsavory business practices to his Woo. over the years. Well, that's the part. Yeah. yeah but, so Again, those aren't crimes. No, but everybody's jumped on it, and, and but I don't, I don't, I don't want somebody telling me he liked when I'm scrambling and scraping. Them. No, daddy, that's crazy. And now I hear they're trying to bring Jay Z into it. He's, he's just, I don't. I just, I, this is what I don't understand. Why do people have such a preoccupation with anytime somebody like rises high enough, people immediately start trying to like pull them down. Like we build people up just to tear them down so much. You know, that's a valid point. I, you ever work with somebody and they're working and working and they get fired? Oh, I, that guy used to... All of a sudden, everybody's never against like this guy. I never liked him. He did this. I saw him picking his nose in the... It's the same with anybody. So the moment... We didn't hear all this puffy hate before, but the moment these allegations came out... It wasn't widespread, but it was always there. Yeah, uh, but but it's not like now. The moment these allegations came out, everybody and their uncles got something to say. Look what they did to Shannon Sharp. Same. That's what I'm saying. Why when people get to a... People rooted for Shannon Sharp to win. He started winning, and then they started trying to tear him down. I'm a fan. I love Shannon Sharp. I, he, I, to be perfectly honest, even as a kid, and you know this, when I was in high school, where'd they move me from? Running back to what? Tight end. You know why I was okay with it? Shannon Sharp. I was like, all right, I'll be Shannon Sharp then, because he was that loud, talkative, brash, but really good. And though before that, only tight ends you would think of is like, Mark Bavaro and like those type of dudes that were just like, you know, like big, boring, but he was like an athlete. Right. You know? So, but he built his podcast. I'm, I'm a fan and, and, and people want to tear people apart. Just like you said, it's the crap in the barrel thing. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not that guy. I, I'm going to say until things are what they are and, and I don't care what they say about this, this Shannon Sharp. I'm just skipping around now. I don't care what they say about him. But now everybody's I, accusing him of being, you know. It doesn't matter. I like his podcast. I like that he stands on what he stands on. He doesn't back away. And you know what? I tell you what. 
someone walks up to him the wrong way, I think the guy's gonna throw his hand. Ain't nobody talking shit. Nah, nobody that's nobody. a big dude. And I mean, I don't. He, didn't he go after Jim Morant's bat or something at the basketball game? That threw him out of a game one. Yeah, John Morant. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, he did. Jim Morant's a big dude. And I don't think he's nobody's punk. So I don't know. Leave him alone. That I man. just don't understand. Like he's been obviously in the public eye. I know now he crossed over in mainstream media. Right. He was popular in the athletic space. Yes. Right. Amongst people who were fans of football. Mm-hmm. And then into like him being an analyst. Mm-hmm. And now he's kind of, ever since the Cat Williams interview, he segued into like pop culture space. So now he's on the shade room. He's in all these blogs. He's at, and I just, it's funny to me now, all of a sudden people think that he's gay. Right. Or are saying he is. Like, I don't know where. Right. When he's been around for, but now, now, because he had on some sweats. Something about his stylist. Well, yeah. he, the, the sweats was a little. That's just. But that's how people dress now. You know, he's a muscular guy. Maybe he wants to show off his calves. I don't know. But no, that's I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> but you, you make me laugh. Man. I mean, you, you try to like. Okay, but again, but respectfully, <laughs> and I'm not saying this in a bad way. You couldn't wear it. I would not. That would be like being a muscle shirt. Yes, but if you had muscles, would you wear a muscle shirt? Um, probably. That's my point. I still wouldn't wear those pants, but the shirt I would. Wear. I don't know because yeah, I remember pants. those. Remember when you like, and then this, uh, this is. When you remember when you started running all the time? Yeah. You started wearing tight ass turtlenecks. Yeah. Turtlenecks. I was buff. True story. Buff, but not but tight pants. I just laugh because people don't understand. Like, I, that's how people dress. Just because he's a little more like like still fashionable. I don't understand what the big deal is. I honestly don't care enough about what another man wears. Yes, but exactly. the, the, the pre- the bottom line. but the preoccupation that we have in like the media space now with people going, oh, like men don't act like men no more, and they be doing all this stuff and like it's never. Re- it's always been there. You know what comes along with getting that bag, which he's getting the bag right Haters? now. Haters? Yes. Of course. It comes with the turn. To a point. Again, they're allegations. I'm not to a point. He did. He's a part of that, too. Guy's a billionaire or whatever Listen, he is. Can I just say something about that other thing that we're talking about? Hmm. The date. You could say, up till now, it's always been a social media thing or a hearsay thing with date. Mm-hmm. Right? There was never any allegations. No. Not like this. I don't care what podcast said what about him. He was just thought it was weird. Right. When you have them raiding his house now, I hate to say it, it's over for the guy. Two houses. Two houses. Well, when they they step in, you can forget it. Well, it's very. That's the bottom line because they were talking about Epstein for years. Oh when they wanted to finally get him, it got real and they got him, just like they got his girlfriend. Well, this is the tip of the iceberg. The way the feds work. That's what I'm. The feds saying. take their time in building. Oh case. yeah, they take ten years if they, they want. They take their time. Yeah. In- so when they went They've there, they've been watching him for a while. Yes, when they went there, they thought they had something. Yeah. Because they don't just run up in no. your house. No. And start arresting the and, kids and over there. So there is. Cough this kids. Yeah. There is something to the allegations somewhat. Oh, yeah. But again, these are some harsh allegations. When yes. you're talking about sex trafficking and kids, i got yep. a problem with that. So I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon, but when he gets arrested, then if, we, if, if I'm invited back here, we can talk about it. Then I'll go in. How many times have you heard this story and welcome? The supposed criminal. That's right. even Teflon Don got arrested. They take their time. Yes. They, they get what they got to get. But how many times it took for him, right? Well, yeah. they had to make up a law to get him. Yeah, exactly. But they, they got him. They had to make they, they yeah. made it up. Yeah. People don't realize that. You know, like Rico was invented yeah. to catch Don Gotti. Yeah. 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 They Giuliani, invented right? the Giuliani. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Like they, they couldn't get Gotti because he wouldn't implicate himself and he was never present at any of the crimes. They couldn't get him at a crime. Well, when you go, time they did, the guy would be like, I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go back even further, the feds had a hard time pinning down Al Capone. They got him on tax evasion. Tax evasion, yeah. They don't play. So exactly. him shot, smiling or whatever, he knows he's got an issue going on. But it's when, when the truth comes out and everything comes out to yep. light, I'll speak my piece. Until then, I'm not going to jump on his Fair. I'm not going to jump on his trip to jail or not. I don't. I never get, look, if you did it, then you deserve whatever it is. But 100%. I don't, I'm never happy when somebody loses everything like that. No. You know, I don't pray for people's downfall. I do if they deserve it. And that's a hard statement. I know it is. But the problem is... In I don't this care who you are. Sorry. Who you are, where you come from. I know you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. I get that. That's right. If the day comes where they say Diddy is innocent, oh. I'll, I will take back every word I said. But until then, nah, there's a lot more nefarious. But that's the problem to me is that you, it don't, you don't have to be guilty anymore to lose everything. 100%. Yeah. Right. Have y'all ever heard of... There's a YouTuber slash TikToker you probably never heard of it, dude, but his name is Angry Reactions. He got arrested for assaulting a woman. And then it came out that he didn't actually do it and that, like, he was found innocent. You know how much money in brand deals he lost before that? 
Look, you know? at, look at Trevor Bauer. Yeah. But you can go on and on and on. Like, years and years ago, when, when my daughter was a little girl, elementary school, no names will be said here because the guy's a very good friend of mine. It was, there was an allegation that there was some inappropriate contact with a, with a student. This is elementary school. Yeah. Oof. He was on the front page of the news. Picture, big headline, when he was 100% totally acquitted. Yeah. Page 17, a little article. That's about what I'm bit. saying. And that's where so I'm, in, I'm always careful. In this world, it's not always what you did. It's what you're accused of. Yes. That's what the scary part and, is. And, you know, growing up in the building, I, I lived in the building, and I, I just know that there were, there were young girls, and I was a teenager. This is a true story. You can ask anybody. Kids get on that elevator, I get right off. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to open the door with those kids in there. That's the same reason why. That's, that's what makes you different. Than 100% people. because so, I got kids, and I care, and, and I don't even want people looking at me funny. Correct. You understand and the saying? bottom line is this, and, and yeah. this is probably going to be another harsh statement I'm going to make, but it's a sad truth in my opinion. When you walk in the realm of these people, not that it, it comes with the territory. It should Nothing should ever come with the territory. But you almost have to be like what you do. They should be doing that times 100. So you don't fall into that trap. No. If you want to be uh, Puff Daddy, you better check all your T's. Nope. Cross your T's, dot your eyes. Dot your eyes. You know? This guy, I feel like he was flaunting. You see the video we did with Justin Bieber? Yeah. Why would you even do that? Well, there's a line. Come on! There's, um, there's a line, I think, I think it was... Um, Meek that said it, uh, God forgive me for the things I did with Diddy or something like that. Yeah. That's, that wasn't true. That was a, a- a- oh, here we go, Victor. A- a- AI, me? That's a- horrible. Yeah. Horrible. That's what I'm and, saying. And even me Correct. who's trying to be as neutral as possible gets caught up in that crap. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Yep, that's horrible. the scary part. But that's the thing, that's the trade off. That's my point. If you but he didn't even do anything allegedly yet. Who, did he? Meek Mill. Oh, I know. I know. Hey, look, you sell your soul one way or the other. That's the bottom line. Here's the thing. If this guy happens to like men and women, good for you. I have no comment. I don't. Not, not, not a crime. Yeah, it's not, even not a crime. Not a crime. Not a crime. Yeah. Nothing to talk about. Right. That's between him and those guys. I don't right. care if they're celebrities, not celebrities, the whole pizzeria guy. Yep. Handle your business. Keep so you, you think me did that? Yeah, he did. I, I don't know. Yeah, 100% he did. Never met me. I'd have to have a conversation with him. He did let Takashi get off the hook that day. Listen, he, he offered him a fade. He didn't, he didn't step. I don't know ready? what that was about. Listen, the day that, that, that I found out that Dwight Howard... I knew. You know it, too, because I said you should say it for years. Well, wait, no, no. Yeah, something you was funny. Say just something was off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is, it, is, it, is it legit? He's like, I want to... Yeah, no, he, he's never legit. even denied it. Yeah, like, my, my, not that I'm surprised. I don't care. But to, but to see, like, NBA... Guy of that stature, all the money in the world, and he's doing that. That that was like, man, they are doing it, man. Of course, people it's are doing life, it. Life, yeah. life, people. There's, there's no. I know, and it's none of my business. Yes, but I'm just, you know, just as to talk but about. Life like, is you would even, think that if you if you met Dwight Howard, whatever, you would think immediately. There's just the thing that people have to realize. There's a lot of Dwight Howards that are in people's lives. Sure, no, 100%, sure. So. No, I don't a- care. Agreed. No, I'm talking agreed. in the limelight. Life is gonna evade, invade every genre of the world. Of course. Football players have come out. Sure. Richard Jefferson came out while he was playing, I believe. Really? Next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, Richard Jefferson? For the yeah. next, right? Something other thing I'm saying it, right? Nah. Because he on. just smacked. Ri- nah, oh, that ain't. Well, well, yeah, 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 Grab a phone. It ain't Richard Jefferson. He just Who smacked Okinawa no. Okinogu's butt. Somebody in the comments put it up there. with one of the Nets. Not Richard Jefferson, bro. The lights can do, right? Not Richard Jefferson. No, not Richard this Jefferson. is why it's just what scares me about those people. Nah, it's just this. this I'm pretty. It was an this, NBA. This it was folk. an NBA player. Like, it wasn't him. Uh, it was old school. It's not now. He's not playing now. Kills. No. It wasn't Richard Jefferson, bro. <laughs> Richard <laughs> Jefferson still make TikToks. I feel like I know what you're talking about. It's Bob. not Richard Jefferson. It's not Richard Jefferson no. because when I heard, when I learned about the guy you're talking about, I was shocked. My point is this: if they say one in every what like six people is, and there's a hundred dudes on a football team. That means like five, six. Somebody's of them. lying. I or think a lot of people hide it. I do. No, I don't think it's fine. I don't care. Yeah, correct. But that's my point. So the thing with Dwight Howard, like you're saying, everybody's doing. Of course they are. They've existed since. Of being, course, though. Come on. Of course they are. They are. Somebody's doing. I don't care. Uh, I don't understand. Look, and then that you just—that's the way it is. That's Actually, just, it's even weirder for Dwight Howard because he's not even. Oh, you know who definitely did? Remember the dude that was dating a Playboy playmate? The the wide receiver. Weird position to be, but 
the dude, he was dating the, the girl that was with Hugh Hefner. Oh, man. She, they did a show. It was three of them. Who are you talking about? He was with that, his, her husband got caught. It was Collins. Called. Jason Collins. Oh, he, I wouldn't know Richard Jefferson. No, That's my bad. Richard Jefferson, I apologize. I am in no way, shape, or form He's going to watch this. Homophobic. No, no. He, no, he be on TikTok, too. Yeah. No, no, I'm good. I didn't say it was, it was, it was, it was <laughs> Collins, yes. Yeah. But he came out while he was playing. Bro, these beans suck. I had to find out because I had to, no. I, I had to, I, clear, I, asked no, you one. I had to clear that up. I had to, so I had you to, I had to find it. No, no, of course, but I don't want to. But at the end of the day, look, if you've been on any sports team, there's probably two or three people on a team. It, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't stop itself from football, baseball, basketball. And Real personally, world. me, I could care less. Yeah, no, I'm I don't care. care. I, you know, let, I say let people live and do what you want to do. I just think it's the funny thing is that people only think of flamboyant types of people that are doing that. Huh. But it's also just people who aren't flamboyant, like just somebody you would never think, but that's what they do. But at the end of the day, I just think that we can just get to a point where like it, it shouldn't even matter no more. That's all. That's that's why I don't care. Like it's listen, not even- back in the days of uh, Spartacus, you know the, the Warriors. Some of those biggest, toughest guys around, was, Alexander the Great, they were doing their thing. Big deal. Doesn't mean you can't fight. You know, watch yourself. The man is a man. I don't care who he kisses. No, you heard about the... the, 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 the truth Because <laughs> you got hit in the mouth by the hardest... No, he got me right here. Oh, in the shoulder, okay. I bobbed at the end, but I, that's still the He's hardest still hit I ever had. I told you, you, you remember that? I tell you about the whole academic story. situation in Saucy Santana? I didn't tell you about that? Yeah, you did. Oh, speaking... I don't even want to talk about that. I don't even want to talk about that. Let's go. No. Speaking of Saucy Santana, do y'all know who that is? I don't really know. I do who. after talking to you. I didn't well, know. supposedly, like, he was a video where he was, like, twerking. And Gilbert Arenas... Oh, yeah, you, you showed me that. Yeah. He was, he was, was like... He was he like was ready to tip it. He was like, it don't matter. Like he, yeah. Okay. Anyway, and it wasn't one joke. He took it. Yeah, he talked about it for like ten yeah. minutes. I, that's what I'm saying. But like at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that are like that. It don't matter. It don't matter. I said let people live. Absolutely, I don't care. Whoever you want to date, they're in a safe space. space. No matter who, kids, kids. Whoever you want to do your thing with, do as your long thing as with. it's between two consenting adults, I don't care which. I that's a hundred percent right. Or four I'm, or five, if that's what y'all. I don't even think it's worth an off-brand conversation. I would, I would never disrespect anybody Mm-mm. because the other day we're all humans and best, we're a part of the best race of all the human race. That's my opinion. Agree. It might sound corny, but that's how I feel. I have a relationship thing. Now, this isn't going to be too crazy. Okay. But I wanted to see what y'all thoughts were because a lot of my, when I'm doing this by myself, I talk about a lot of relationship stuff, but I've never gotten other people's perspectives. So I'm okay. curious to see what y'all think. I'm going to play this. Now, I got a microphone on me, so you'll, they'll be able to hear it as much as you guys. So we're ready to go. Here we go. Listen. Ready? Female maintenance is too damn expensive to be talking to someone that's broke. Lashes, hair, nails, laser, wax. And the fact that a man could talk to you, seeing that you're always up to par, and can't even send you some money for your equipment. Not once a cell, not once an Apple Pay. This is for your hair. Thoughts? There's a lot of the. I don't know how up on the. The dating dynamics you are, but these days it, it's talked about that a lot of dudes these days are broke because they're I, not. Doing I could tell you like this that. right now, without being disrespectful to that young lady right there. Yeah, no, just the thoughts of it. I would never date a woman like that. Exactly. I Why? want because I don't have to take care of you. You take care of you. I don't have to take care of your appearance. That's on you. I'm not going to ask you to give me hair, money for a haircut. That's the weird part to me. I don't understand it. She says. She said, and I, and I quote... Because makeup's expensive. How do you, yeah, makeup's expensive. How do you expect me to look like this? Well, that's on you. you. You expect your man to keep you up? A lot of days, and this is not all women. Wait, wait. Is that is that to date, or she's just looking for a good time? Somebody wants to talk to her. Like, like so she's taking, like, a serious relationship. Yeah, not even serious. She never... The context of it is, and people talk about this even on first dates. They say that men should pay, which is fine. I I'm personally with agree with that. I'll do that. But their context of why they think so... And it's not all people, but some women, they say that, you know, my makeup costs $300, this costs this, that's how much it costs, and you can't foot the bill. That's the context I'm trying to give. Well, not even just are you paying for it. I can tell you this. If I hit the lottery tomorrow for $7 zillion, and money meant nothing to me at all, I still wouldn't date a chick like that. Agreed. It's not about the money. It never no, it's not about the money. And if I ask you out, if I ask you for we're going to dinner, I got that. So now, you, you think that who should be paying on the date is who asks? Yeah. So here's the context. I, I How many know. women ask men out? Ain't nobody asking. Today is a little more unusual. Yeah, it's, it's probably more than... Probably yeah, more. Women ask a dude on a date, it's rare. It's very rare. What if they give you, like, can we kick it? Can we hang out? And it's not a date. Want to go get a bite? Okay, no, but listen, I'm not I'm not that way. I, I, I'm going to say, if, if, if I don't care how the date came, how it came about, 
If we're out, I'm going to offer to pay that bill. I'm going to pay that bill. Agree. That's just me. I look. I I would always pay for somebody to die, but yeah. At the end of the day, I don't like the. What's the word I'm looking for? The entitlement to think that I'm supposed to pay for everything for you. Yeah. Especially if I just met you. If that girl was my girlfriend, I wouldn't have a problem if I had it to pay for. It. But to call somebody broke because they won't buy you things is the thing I have an issue with. No, that that kind of set me back. I wouldn't deal with that. <laughs> that, would, that would be an instant. Do not pick up in the phone right there. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I, I, I envision myself, you know, in my mind, because we're not doing this, these things, but I envision it the way as I want somebody that can take care of themselves. Yeah, I, I got kids. I don't need to take care of nobody. I have, I have children. I'm not, I'm not no one's dad. I'm certainly not your sugar daddy. So if you want to get your hair done, in your business. Now, let's say we're dating for a while and I say, here, here's somebody go get your hair done. That's a whole nother story. Or we're going out and buy a dress, whatever, whatever. We're, we're, we're there. But I'm dating you and I got to take care of your hair and your nails. Not me. I'm not boo-boo the fool. Listen, you do what you want to do, you do what you want to do. Me? I'm not boo-boo the fool. You go ahead and do your own nails. So if you had a serious girlfriend and she said that she got her nails done every two weeks, you wouldn't pay for it? Hell no. Really? I get my hair cut every couple of weeks. I don't have to pay for yeah, my hair. Yeah, but like, I feel like like that's like a traditional gender role. I wouldn't expect a woman to take care of me. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not taking care of nobody. If we're married... So what about... So your serious girlfriend... My serious yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, girlfriend. I'm not talking about some girl you just talked about. I might do it on occasion, but that's not my responsibility. Responsibility, I didn't say. I said, would you do it like if you had it? Yeah, here and there. So if you were a millionaire, I'm trying to... <laughs> if you were a millionaire, for for example, and you had a girlfriend, you wouldn't just give her money to take her getting her All right, so we're, going, we're getting deeper into this. Okay, here we go. If I was a millionaire... The money wasn't the object. Money's no object. Yeah. And... And you dated somebody who was real. And I dated real something. Now, 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 if this person came along with me on my track to millions, she got mm-hmm. whatever I got. We good. Now, if I met her, I might test the waters a little bit. I'm not going to just offer because I... I said serious girlfriend. No, I'm not talking about Oh, she's a serious girlfriend? Said. I just said that. I said it three times. That's why I said, let me get this straight. I'm okay. Right. Serious? I said serious girlfriend. You've been dating. That's your mm-hmm. girl. Mm-hmm. Not some girl you just met. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd probably do it. I don't see a problem with that. Yeah, no, I'd probably do it. I would do it. Do because what? that's... A, exactly. Like, I, I would, first, I would, get yeah. her nails done. Get her hair done. Yeah, but all right. So that's separate from what she said. No, I'm, I moved off that. Okay, like she's a bird. No, you're talking about a whole other thing. Yeah, that's your girlfriend. That's not not. If you with me, you with me. We good. Yeah. And I got it. Yeah. I'm like this. If I got it, you can get it. <laughs> if I don't, you won't. It's what is you, okay? How about this? If you're footing the bill for everything, what are your expectations for the woman that you're dating? Oh, that's very simple. Be with me and be with nobody else. Loyalty. <laughs> Loyalty. Wait, yeah. Loyalty above and beyond all loyalty. And um, that's about it. So she just had to show up and not cheat. And treat me good. Treat me well. You know, she just gotta show up and not she, cheat. She and can't be good. a, she can't, I, I, I think, yeah, I don't want to nag. No, no. We keep the nagging outside. So, when relationship dynamics, which one do you think sounds harder? Today? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say loyalty is probably hard for a lot of people today. No. Which one do you think is harder? If you said, okay, Here's what I'm bringing to the table. You don't got to worry about money no more. Just mm-hmm. don't cheat on me. And we're gonna we're gonna get along. We, of course, we got a vibe. And yeah, no, yeah, pretty much. That sounds great. I wish I could do that. I'm not even a sugar mama. I don't. I, I don't just ate a bean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a lot of expectations for somebody. If I'm with you, it's because we vibe. We click. We 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 can we 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 have um, we're on, on the same level intellectually. Um, we can conversate, and I don't have to dummy down. You know what I hate when you back when I was a younger guy. You know, Oh, yo, that outfit is fly. Oh, you know, and someone said, fly, what's that mean? Here we go. Fresh up. What do you mean? I bought them yesterday. I don't want to be your ghetto tour guy. I don't want to change who I am to talk to somebody. It gets tiring after a while. I don't think you've ever dated somebody that needs to be a ghetto tour guy. I'll explain that to you later. Um, I'm going to say that there are some people that grew up in different than I did in other areas of where I did that um, ethnicity ethnicity had nothing to do with uh, me explaining a lot of things to them. But it didn't matter. If I'm with you, I'm with you, period. I'm, I don't have no expectations. If I'm with you, you're with me. I think the key is there's red flags. I always say this. Girl. If, if a girl expects things from you, that's... The entitlement. Yeah, that, that's the issue right there. Correct. Mm-hmm. Like, she should expect you to care about her, those things. Um, but materialistically, then you're already from the gate. You're shot because right. those things should be worked out later. Why are you already thinking about it? Because honestly, that the, when it like comes money's to, important. When it comes to relationship potential, men are judged on what they can bring or provide. Yes, but the women who are doing that, 
It's what a, woman is you? Breed I, a woman. I think all women judge to a certain, I don't know, to a certain extent. Do you? But would you? Would I what? Okay, so let's just say you know you're you're, you're doing your thing and you're you're able to provide certain things to my girlfriend. Yeah, I will buy whatever she wants. No, your girlfriend is different. Yes. They dating. Fuck no. Okay. I'm no. not. I, I don't have a problem paying for a date, but I'm not finna to like be a trick. I'm not just gonna start buying you like jewelry and stuff off, and I just I just that. met you. Absolutely. That that, yeah. com- that comes with. Right, that I'll comes foot with. the bill. I have no problem with that. That's, like, that's different. different. Yeah. But as far as paying material for your... stuff and stuff like that, no, absolutely not. I'm not paying for your nails and stuff. I just okay. Met you. So we did a big circle to be on the same page. I no, because I, I was that. asking you what you thought, not just initially, but no. in a relationship. Yeah, but there are there are some guys who. Like they want their woman to be able, a woman they're dating to be able to I think bring, rela- yeah, relationships, their own different. finances, even if they have it. Some yeah. guys, they suck. Most men, in my opinion, don't care about how much money their girlfriend or wife makes if they have it. Like they don't. It's like you know how people, like a lot of women, that they will say, and I brought this up too. This is why I want to bring it up. A lot of women, when you ask them like what they bring to the table, they don't like hearing that. But I mean, it's a legitimate question. And they say, well, I have my own money. I can take care of this. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a boss. I'm a CEO of a company, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Most guys don't really care. Like, you, you, when you're picking a potential partner, you don't care about how much money she makes. Especially if you have it. Am I wrong? No. I'm just asking. Because I, I feel I, like some people are like, oh, like, you mean- I don't think so. But I think a lot of people that I know of, that I know, and that are in the dating pool now, and when uh, sometimes when a woman is... Well, often has that great job. They have a hard time dating a plumber. Absolutely. Well, if you reverse it, it's completely different. I can go to that. That's completely different. That's why women say it, though, because women talk about it as if they're dating themselves. Right. But that's not really what it is. But you don't want someone to come drain your account either. I don't know. It's, a, it's like because women care about how much like money. Such, I think it's an individual basis. When you when you when you, when you earn it to me, it's when you earn that p- position, when you earn that title of quote unquote, as you said, girlfriend, we're on a different level. So you don't care how much money she makes. That's all I was asking. And 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 if I'm if, and, and if I have it, especially if, if you have it, if I'm if I have it and I'm able to do certain, I'm gonna do what I can. Has a woman not having money ever deterred you from dating her? No. Would it deter a woman to date a man who doesn't have money? Possible. Possible. I can't. I'm not gonna generalize. I'm gonna generally speaking, women will not date a guy that ain't got no money. That's Gen- if you want to generalize, absolutely. Yes. Generally uh, speaking, everybody- I'm not because I'm not trying to split hairs. I'm being. Generally speaking, a woman will not date a guy at least if they didn't make enough money that they can make as much. The general as rule is women. Date. Yes. And Especially I've heard family. otherwise all of a sudden. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Really? You heard women date your dad? A lot of women are like, oh, women, women men tend to date up. And I'm just like, I, I don't know where they've heard that. That's because all time. I mean, it's a, it, it's true. You've got, you got some validity to what you're saying. There's double standards to everything. I mean, the double I don't have a problem with the double standards. Though. Yeah, no. I, wouldn't, I, I, I personally don't care about how much. If, if I found a person that, that, that I, I think is loyal and it's not going to um, play me out. And, and we, we, we connect on a mental level. Because see, when someone gets in your head, it's a lot harder to get rid of them. That physical stuff, the looks and stuff, that comes and goes like the way. Yeah, but from a man's standpoint, you don't care about Absolutely. That. Money doesn't enter into my But brain. from a woman's standpoint, it matters. Yeah. I'm talking about my preference. And I just I want somebody... I'm, I always try to speak in generalities, yeah. not my own point of view. My, and my, my thing, I want someone that's going to be next to me. I don't want someone behind me, and I, don't, and I don't need to be in front of them. I want someone right next to me. And if we're gonna, if, if I'm buying, if, if I'm Clyde, she's buying. You know what I'm saying? We ride or die. So, and that that person will get whatever I can offer. Isn't it crazy how it's always looked at like men have to be have to bring the money to the table? Yes, I get, I get it, it. I get it. Since the beginning of the time. But yes, but not, that's the problem. No, but not really. Though. Okay, because the beginning of time, money wasn't a thing, so men had to go out and, and hunt. I tell you what, if it oh, was the year there, five, yeah. but that was I the, would be hunting. But that was the provision part. Yeah, it's the money is the ability to provide in 2020. I understand that, but m- like hunting for food and now having a brain and getting a job are vastly different. True. So not all men can do that. That doesn't mean that that man is a bad man, though. What be able to provide or what? No, to be a good husband or boyfriend or whatever. Like, why does money decipher in terms of because a you're, eyes? because that financial security is something like that's the uh, in these day and age we don't hunt anymore, so it's become. That is the way that we provide is by having the means to do so. I know, but but back in the day, hands down, a man is a better hunter. Today, women make more money than men do. At some, yeah. sometimes, well, sometimes they're yeah. killing it. Men don't even go to college anymore. Not that that matters. So it's like something's off. You know what I'm saying? No. How how are you? How I'm is like a, a, how is a man supposed to outdo a woman today? That's tough. 
That's agree. my point. I've said that before, though. So that's the, my point. The, the issue now is that what men used to bring to the table was the ability to provide. That was that meant because something. The, this is where it sucks for men. And again, I'm not saying it doesn't suck to be a woman. So anybody who's going to get mad and go, oh, well, what no. about women? We know. I'm what just you're saying. saying yes. So why it sucks to be a man these days is that an average guy is now considered below average. Right. If you're a guy who makes forty thousand dollars a year and you've got a steady job with benefits, that's no longer anything. Because they also have forty thousand dollars, so what do they need you for? Right. Go build a bridge. Now we've, now, got I'm to, impressed. now we've got to figure out another way. That how are we supposed to provide? The only way that they've figured that out is to be the Uber provider, the guy who makes six figures now. Which is this? In the grand scheme, that's where it gets tough because there are very few men who actually I mean, make six figures. I feel this is my personal opinion. When a woman singles out a man with money first, I would hate to be the guy with money because if, right. if you're going to get cheated on later, probably. If I've said this, I hate to say that. money and character are not the same. Hmm. No way. That's the thing. It's almost like being an attractive woman doesn't mean you're a good girlfriend. Correct. Agree. But it will get you more looks from people. Which is why I said individual basis on everything. Well, when you're looking for Obviously. a husband or a wife, yes, that's where the Correct. character comes in. I right? mean, I'm so far out of the dating game, I couldn't even tell you what you guys are talking about. So I'm, I'm going to put it this way. Oh, if wild. you're a guy who wants to date around these days, you'll go broke. I'm going to be honest Before you even get a taste of anything. Well, I'm glad I'm not dating. I want you to think about this. Hypoth- hypothetically speaking, if I was to take a woman out to dinner mm-hmm. and, and maybe a couple of drinks, spend 150 bucks. Easy. 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 So what if I went on two or three dates a week? That's $350 you gotta a month, to, right? You got to know how to Netflix and chill. That's four, but that's almost $500 a yeah, month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't doing that. That's two grand a month. That's why people stop dating. Because I could take that two grand and buy a car and have money left over. You know... When you first start dating, I mean, you shouldn't. I, I, I'm I'm talking about coffee, Starbucks. Like yeah, that. but that coffee dates are considered taboo these days. A lot of women think that coffee dates think it's low effort. Coffee six dollars. <laughs> I'll go six dollars and hundred and fifty. Yeah, but you do that four Listen, times a week. I'm, I'm I'm out of the pool. But I'm gonna tell you this: if I ask somebody for coffee and she's trying and she gave me any inclination, I agree with that. That that is low whatever. Then that's that, goodbye. That's fine. That's the Listen, beauty, when though. someone shows you who they are, believe it. Correct. But Correct. The t- the t- That's the first cut. For Correct. a lot of men these days, it's it's because of dating apps and dating app culture, a lot of men aren't getting any attention or even the ability to go on dates anymore. I personally... You've never seen a dating app. No, I haven't. I don't do it. It's, but I, it's, I, like, it's, like, it's like the Wild West out there. No, I, I know people that have gotten married through these apps. I'm I not saying they don't work. No, but all I'm saying is personally, as an older person... Ain't no way in the hell I'm getting on no dating app. No way. None. No way. You want to judge me, judge me by me, not a picture of me sitting up there. Oh, like him, he's got 2020, right. we couldn't go outside. Dating apps boomed. That's what happened. Yeah, that's well. How we did, but that's what happened. I'm I'll, just telling you. Like, I'll be a lonely next. I'll put it this way. I'm a millennial, right? Being a millennial, dating apps were a thing in the 2010s. If you got caught on like a Tinder, they, people would laugh at you. You understand? They'd be like, you're on a dating app? You're a loser. But when 2020 hit and we were all in the house... Everybody hopped on dating apps, and then it just became normal. Uh, uh, again, you judge but me. But you got to think. When you go to a nightclub, I just want you to just... Pr- let, I'm trying to explain to you what a dating app is like. You've been to nightclubs, right? Of course. How do nightclubs work when you're out? How's oh, the dating look at nightclubs? You know how There's a bunch of women, yeah. right? There's like 20 dudes, mm-hmm. and the women only talk to like two of them. You just to multiply that times a thousand, you have dating apps. Well, like, you have to be an exceptional guy to get a lot of, like, attention on a dating app because there are so many guys trying to throw no, themselves people come and have to come up with the right phrase to catch me with attention. Yeah, or, it's you bad. know, like I said, you want to judge me, you judge me by the body of work. You're not going to judge me by a picture. You're not going to judge me by some comment I wrote. And I don't care. It's not that serious. Listen, I'm out of the game a zillion years. But I've never in my life had trouble talking to a lady. I don't want to go on no dating app. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm not I'm a dating you. app guy. I'm with you. I've done you weddings. You know, so I DJ. I've done weddings for people that have been met on dating apps, married, and also know people I did their wedding and six months later got divorced. It's so impersonal. That's not my thing, man. Virtual anything takes Sucks. away versus the yeah, the human element. Like doctor visits are virtual now. What? It is part of the new world. Computers. Yeah, is, is, I get is it. Here. So you kind of have to. Like, yes, adapt, it, it, but, it is here. But it made the world realize we didn't need all that stuff to be in person. It's so here. it changed everything. But. Would you want a dating app? I agree. Because we're older. Like, it's for yeah. us, like... Yeah, but that's human. But you're the type of person that you want to pay your bill in person. I do. That's what I'm Which saying. Could. That's what I'm saying. You're like... Forget it. Boost Mobile, man. Hey, hey, Billy. How you doing, man? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, hey, that's you how it works, man. like PSC and Jibbo. Abs- oh, I go to Pacific. I go right there. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I don't go all the way through that. That's the phone. No, I need to see these people. Man. I just paid my card over. I gotta look them in the eyes. I remember when we, when we first started like our business and we oh. first got our first check to deposit, and I took my phone. He's like, "What are you doing?" I go, "You can deposit it this way." You take a picture. Wait, so I take a picture. It goes in. It's in there. How do they know? Yeah. <laughs> How do they know it's in there? Yeah. Okay. How do they know it's in there? No. So what? You take a picture in the back. Well, what's the stuff? So can I take another picture? Right. A lot of things are better. A lot of, I, I, I use, the, I use convenient. convenient, for convenience. I pay most of my bills, but you don't want to lose your phone today. A lot of stuff on Your whole life's on it. Yeah. yeah. But I pay most of my bills electronically. I haven't written a check in years. You can do anything online now. Yes. Anything. But, 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 you can buy a car online. But you I'm going to say, dealership. when it comes to matters of the heart and like dating, I, I just can't see it. Call me old. You can call me old all you want. You, I you think know. it's tougher for men on dating apps because men don't, that's how men think one. And two, most men don't have pictures of themselves. How many pictures of you are in your phone? Rare, right? I I, I have no pictures of myself. In you my don't phone. take selfies? No, absolutely not. You got a selfie guy? <laughs> no, no. You know what's my phone has tacos and shit. Once in a blue moon, I used to go on Instagram and I put a selfie. He called me the selfie king once about five it's years ago. Embarrassing. I've, I've never done it again. <laughs> Stop. And I do it like once in a month. Oh, it's the worst. Because he'd be like, he'd be like, I'd be like, bored at work. Like, I'd take a picture. I'd put it. You're not even workflow. Like, get it was. The a, it was more about the captions. But embarrassing. Go to my Instagram now. You guys tell me what you see. I, I don't, don't want to look. I'm gonna look. There's I no look. pictures there. I can't. I can't look at anybody. There's it's no there. pictures there. It's it's embarrassing. There's flyers from where I DJ. Good. I don't have any pictures of myself. I I hardly today go on social media at all. But conversely, how many pictures do you think the average woman has in their phone? Oof. That's my point. I, I know take- people, you could follow their life. Like you could see every burger. You could see every dance. You could see every boyfriend. You, to each his own. This is the world we live in. So we have, to, we have to become accustomed to it and we have to adapt to certain things. I choose not to. I'm old enough to say you guys handle that. I sit back and relax. Bro, I'm not in the game too. Tinder? <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm just, you know, I'm just telling you what it is. Again, because I stream- normal, Listen, if you went out today. I stand in the corner and don't talk to anybody. I don't bother people. Nah, I'm a social butterfly. I don't bother people, but I'm <laughs> saying, but if you went out today, could you have a conversation? Me? Yeah. Could you? Yeah. I don't do that stuff. But I'm, <laughs> I well, really, somebody came I really you. don't. No, I talk to You can hold a conversation. Hold the conversation. I talk yeah. to people all the time yeah. because I have no agenda anyway. But to talk or meet people, it's never been an issue with me. But like I said, you want to judge me, don't judge me by no Tinder picture. You know, you might look at that and go, that guy, ugh. You know, you meet me, that ugh, my turn, all right. And I'll tell you what, when it comes to people in general, the first thing to go in a relationship are looks. When you see that person sick, you see that person yelling at you for no reason. You when you look at somebody, it's completely Yeah, you don't, you, don't, you don't say, wow, they're beautiful. You go, this nah, is they they, 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 they do do in the same house. Yes, as this. I know. It's like I, yeah, that's true. You see yeah. everything, so how, no matter how, you, you can appreciate the yes. beauty, but you don't care as much. No, it's, so it's, it's it becomes things, routine. Yes. Right, so that's, forefront. Yeah, that's the first thing that goes. Agreed. Agreed. Now, that's why I always tell people, so when you meet somebody and you connect mentally, it's harder to get someone out of your head than anywhere else. All that physical stuff, and I'm talking sex and everything, it comes and it goes. You get used to it. It's good. You don't say, I'm not saying it's horrible. No, no, no. But when you connect with someone mentally and now you have a problem, messes you up a little bit. I just uh, think you get to a certain point in your relationship where well, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a bond. Yes, and I'm going, it's, right. And that mental, that bond is hard to break. It's, it's a mutual yeah. respect. That's when, that's when you see people like really hurt. You know, it's like, oh man. Yeah. You know, so, it's, and this is why people don't trust it. Like, I used to do a lot of stupid stuff as a youngster. So trust don't come easy for me. And I'm not talking about women. I'm talking about life. I was a knucklehead. I don't want to talk about my street life. But, so I don't trust because trust makes you vulnerable. It also gets you locked up in certain instances. So trust don't come easy. But when you find someone you can really trust, that's why I say loyalty. That's a, that's a, that's a green flag. I just think people these days have this idea in their head that relationships are just like beautiful all the time. Yeah, nah. Like like your vacation. Should be so easy. Like you're swept off. Your Should seat. be so that's, easy. But that's not what it really is. Hell and no. I think that somewhere along the lines, people lost the fact that like, Real relationships ain't like that. No. Like, you're, there's days where you can't stand your partner. Yeah. There's you know, days where you don't want to be around them. But it doesn't mean I'm bored, I want to leave. That's part of life. But that's not how people think, no. no. People leave because they're unhappy. Oh, people people start fights because someone left their underwear on the floor. I just, I, um, you can, you, true. You can call me crazy, but I don't think I'd leave a relationship because I wasn't happy. Like, a real relationship. No. I'm not talking about I have a high school girlfriend. I'm talking about I'm married, I got children. Just because I'm not happy is not enough. You're going to go through moments when you're married that it's not going to be all peaches and cream. You're going to go through rough patches. Sucks time. But you got to remember, if that person was worth it, they're worth it. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Is the effort worth the result? And if they are, we ride a die. The quickest sign of adversity now people leave. 
or because they're yes. just, they're going to chase their happiness yes. over their family. I, I, will get I don't understand trust. Well, I won't get into te- <laughs> I, know, I, can't laugh at that. I won't get into technicalities, but my parents they stuck it out. But most older couples, well, like they back, back then, you stick, yeah. back then you stuck it out. That's you were bonded today. They, like, today like, they, they would have been divorced seventeen times. Yeah. But, but back then it was really till death do us part. Pretty much, yeah. That's what it was. It's not or, that. Or until she hit him with something. That's. <laughs> Rest in peace, my love you. Jesus. Hey, I love my mother to death, but she she was quick with the hands, man. But um, but, uh, trust is a hard thing. Trust? Yeah, I don't like that word particularly because well, it doesn't make any sense. To here's me. what I why would any because why would anybody trust anybody? I don't what? understand what that means. What do you mean? Why would anybody trust me? What is defi- define the word trust? When you think that the other person is not going to do anything that would be not beneficial to both of you. Happen. People break trust all the time. Absolutely, because it's not rare. It's rare. Right. Absolutely. It, actually, that's, it's, it's more than rare. It, does, it's, it doesn't exist. You, because I, somebody's always going to make you not I, trust I, them. I, so, I hypothetically speaking, if, like, say you were married, you don't trust your wife or, like, you don't trust your... I can tell you, I this, feel like you trust there's very few people There's a strong the word. There's very few people in the world that I okay, truly one hundred percent trust. There's very few. And one is the biggest fan, your mom. Sam? No, she's one hundred percent trustworthy. True, one hundred percent. I've known her since I'm fifteen. Too thick and too thin. You can trust that woman. But you didn't trust. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But you didn't trust her from the from the get go. No, 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 she earned her. trust. Right. So to to say you trust somebody isn't honesty a bigger thing that people should look for. They go hand in hand. Trust. They do, but honesty to me is, I would I would trust somebody more that did me dirty but was honest about it than somebody who still is fond. That's a huge statement, but that's true. Right? Because if somebody They broke the trust, but they told, well, but, they told but, me but there's about it. And you're still going to bounce. I believe, I don't want to go yeah. philosophical, but, I think it was Oscar Wilde who said this, but I'm not 100% sure, but he said a true friend stabs you in the front. There you go. Look. But now, look. it's going to be hard to trust that person. But I know you're honest as hell. Look, I've so got, it's like I've got friends very. I don't know, it's tough. Very, I got I got some people. I'm not gonna call out names because <laughs> exactly. the, um, all my friends watch this. So I, I got friends that will come to me. I'm talking people that I consider friends. But I don't trust them because they'll come to me and go. Don't say nothing because I told them I wouldn't tell nobody. I can't trust you now, bro. Mm-hmm. And I will tell them as a man. Right, so what are they doing to you? No, I tell that guy oh, yeah, right. Hundred percent. I tell that guy right away. I said, listen, don't God, don't tell me. If you ain't supposed to say it, don't say it. Unless it's about me, don't say it. Eat that. Yep. Because I don't want to know. Now, 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 you know that my famous saying is, you don't tell people stuff you don't want other people to know. True. Mm-hmm. Keep it to yourself. You want to you wanna have a secret, keep it. Don't tell nobody. Agreed. You trust who I trust, the guy in the mirror. I'm just not a blabby person. Like I'm not blabbing. Wow. Listen, I can tell you this. If you tell me not to say nothing, it's done. It dies with truth. I'm Agreed. telling you a hundred. I don't care what it is. Agreed. You can say, hey, the body's under the park. I go, oh, True. tough for that guy. I feel yeah, bad. It's, like that you, it's like you didn't even hear it. I, but that's trust. You know how you know how I keep it? Because I, I've been a victim of this as a young person. And sometimes you they call it dry snitching. You just come oh, out. Oh, yeah. When you just say it. So yeah. what I do when you when someone tells me something like that, I forget it. I don't need to know. Mm-hmm. I don't Because I can't tell nobody. So what am I remembering yep. it for? You're only as good I as you get rid of it. Man. I like My, plausible listen, deniability. I do that. not. That's what they tell you. Right? Yeah. If I don't know what happened, if, I can't If I tell you, you or anybody in this universe. I didn't see nothing like that. If I tell anybody in this universe. I'm not saying nothing. You got my word. It's done. You're only as good as your word. You, it's done. You don't have to. You can. You can. The cops can tell you they ain't say it. They said they're trying it's to set you up. Said it, say that. I ain't say. It. I'm telling you right now. If I say that, you got my word. Listen. Yeah. And some of the things I did, <clears throat> they would say things like, "Well, you know, you're going to jail. Your kid to see you when he's 15." I said, "Well, that sucks to be him. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later." I'm him. I never went to jail either. I was going to say, I'm just not. Because back then, they would say anything to get you to say anything. She's gum shoe. You know, they would say anything to get you. Listen, if I did it, I did it, and I'm going down. Now, I was smart enough, thanks to this man right here being born, I left all that knucklehead stuff alone a long time ago. No record, no nothing. Because I I grow. You got to grow. You can't leave everything the same. But your word is everything. If you don't have a word, you got nothing with me. The only thing that that they can't take from you is your character. My character is, uh, I would like to you think, build it. and I'm trying my best to keep it that way for life. It's unquestionable. You don't have to question it. It is what it is. If I tell you something, it happened. If I don't tell you something, because you ain't supposed to know. There we go. Fair. All right. That was a very long video, but I don't even know what the hell we talked about. Diddy did it, man. Did- <laughs> Guys, it's been real. That's it. I'm done. Goodbye. We love y'all. Peace. Peace.